A Song to the Tune of Love by It's Underslash Kingston on AO3. Episode 15. Chapter 5. Refrain. Hey, Uraraka waved as Twice climbed up the ladder. Hey, hero. Twice called back. Despite his strange outburst, Uraraka thought him to be the least intimidating member of the League, even before she had become close with Toga. Does no one here know my name? Ochaka, right? He asked. I wasn't paying any attention. She debated asking him about the contradictions now, about the ones he's been making all night, but decides against it. Instead, yeah, what about you? I know you go by twice, but some of the other members call you Jin? That's because Jin's my name. I don't really care either way. We aren't close. I hardly trust you. Call me twice. All right, Uraraka replied, definitely losing her nerve to question the contradictions. Well, uh, I like that shirt. It's cool. You think? I love it, but Dobby says it makes me look like a fool. I hate the buttons. Yeah, I think so. Buttons are kind of difficult sometimes, too. Twice nodded and gave a thumbs up. So, you and Toga? He asked. Yeah? You get along? Everything going all right? Everything's going terrible. If by everything you mean our friendship? Yeah, it's going well. Good. Really not together yet? You shouldn't be together. I don't trust you. We aren't, but if we ended up together, would you be mad about it? Uraraka asked hesitantly. Twice opened his mouth to say something, but closed it, simply shaking his head no after a moment. He spoke. I can't really help blurting out things. It's for my quirk. The League doesn't care and I've accepted it, but you should know that. You shouldn't care either. Only jerks do. Uraraka nodded. Don't worry. I wasn't judging you over it or anything. I was kind of curious, though. All right, that's good. But I'm gonna send Shiggy up now. Making conversation with a high schooler is weird. Okay, Uraraka replied. Oh, congrats on getting out of the hospital, too. I'm a little late, but I wanted to wish you well. Vice Mass twisted into something of a smile, and he shot her another thumbs up before disappearing down the ladder again. It wasn't surprising when Shigaraki appeared on the rooftop via a purple portal. Not only was he the last one left, but twice as head, he'd just be up there. So, Uraraka was surprised? No. Was she worried? Of course. Have you ever had a heart-to-heart -heart with an ex-criminal overlord who could turn you into dust at the slightest inconvenience? No? Didn't think so. Hello? Shigaraki said as he stepped through the portal. Hey, Uraraka replied. How are you? Fine. Dinner was nice. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't get to eat it with everyone. She gestured to the bowl in her lap. I'd consider it a blessing. They're a chaotic bunch. Shigaraki murmured. Though if Toga gets her way, I guess you'll be joining our chaotic bunch. Yeah. Uraraka smiled softly. Is that all right with you? He regarded her curiosity. Why wouldn't it be? I kind of asked Karagiri, too. You and him just seem the most responsible, and it kind of reads like you're the parents of the group. I guess we are. He replied. I don't care. Shigaraki scratched the side of his neck. Are you looking for a shovel talk or something? I already got one. She laughed wirely. Might have been two, depending on how I take it. Shigaraki smiled. Spinner and... Maybe from twice? He said he didn't trust me and I shouldn't be with her. I wouldn't consider that a shovel talk. Guess I'll make it two, though. I'm being serious when I say they won't find your body, you know. You saw what I did to the paper shaker. Yeah. But Rocka nodded stiffly. She cleared her throat. This was about not being scared of everyone, not being threatened, was it? 
Shigaraki shrugged. You don't seem as nervous as you were at the beginning of the night. No more stuttering, at least. Oh, I didn't even notice. Am I supposed to send Toga back here now? Shigaraki wondered aloud. You're leaving already? He raised an eyebrow. Am I good company or something? I was just curious, and I'll be down there. I should get back down to the dorm soon. He nodded and was off the ladder, careful to not touch the ladder fully. Uraka used her quirk, pushed off the roof, and floated down to the ground rather than wait for him to climb back to the ground. She ventured inside, delivered her bowl back to the table, and gave a thumbs up to Toga. Hey, Chaco. She grinned, pulled a rock into a hug. Hey, this wasn't a terrible idea of yours, she said, wrapping her arms around Toga. Really? She was beaming when they pulled apart. I'm glad, even though it took the rest of the night. You're going to? Uraka asked. Kiri says we need to go back home. Toga sighed. We were leaving when Shiggy gets back. He's climbing down the ladder now. Should... I'm back. Shigaraki said as he stopped behind the pair. Oh, I thought it'd take you a little longer. You seemed like you were having trouble. I jumped once I got closer to the bottom. He replied. We're leaving now? I gotta do something first. Toga called. She grabbed Idaraka by the hand, and the pair began walking outside. What's happening now? Idaraka asked as they headed back into the alley. Oh, just something little, don't worry. Togo replied as they made a turn and headed out a bit deeper. I wasn't worried until you said that. Idaraka complained. Nothing to worry about, Togo said as they stopped. It's just that... Last night, I was so excited to meet with you here and introduce you to the League that I could hardly fall asleep, so I thought that maybe if I drank just a tiny sip of your blood I got, I'd be able to fall asleep easier. And it worked. I fell asleep after. It was just after I drank the whole vial. So you dragged me back here into the dark, spooky alley to ask for my blood? Uraka asked. Yeah. Toga glanced around. I've seen darker and spookier, though. Uraraka laughed lightly. Go ahead. Maybe next time, no dark, spooky alleys? No promises. Most people get all scared. And I don't want to deal with that right now. Toko replied. She pulled a vial from her hip pouch. The top pinky. Hey, it wasn't pink last time. Uraraka observed. Nope, I colored coded it. You get pink. Toka grinned. That's actually pretty cute. Uraka smiled. What colors did everyone else get? I'll tell you in a second. Togo replied. She put a hand on the zipper of Uraka's jacket. Can I? Oh, yeah. I forgot you need me to take this off. Go for it. When the zipper was pulled down, Uraka shrugged the jacket off. She felt Togo push the edge of her shirt collar down a bit. Then the prick of teeth. Same as last time. Though it did hurt less, maybe she was ready this time. The vial was put underneath the new wound, and Toga leaned away. Spinner's got green, and Jin's got gray, and Dobby's got blue, and Shiggy's got light blue. Compress has orange, but he's still in the hospital. You've got pink, and Kiro would have purple, but he's all mist, no blood. It's kind of hard to get to the body in the middle, too. He's got a body. I thought he was made out of mist. He is, but the body that made him was human. Oh, Uraraka replied. I've almost got the whole rainbow, Toga laughed, bringing the conversation back to something lighter. You're missing red, yellow, and uh, purple, right? Yeah. Hey, you've got a red and yellow classmate, Toga grinned. Ishiro and Dinky? Yeah, Toga replied. The purple boy, too. Then so. Uh-huh. You could probably ask them. I'm not sure what they'll say, though. Uraka trailed off. I was kidding. I'll find the rest of the rainbow eventually. Toga laughed. She removed the vial, closed the lid tight, and put it back into the pouch, taking out a band-aid, an antiseptic wipe in its place. She cleaned the wound and tenderly put the band-aid over it and smiled at Uraka. Thanks. 
Sudaraka smiled back. She made sure the band-aid was stuck on well. I did a good job, Toga said as Uraraka checked it. It fell off last time. Must have been your weird sleeping habits. Toga shrugged. She handed Uraraka her jacket back, and the latter put it on. It's really cold out here. Poor spinner. Uraraka murmured as she sipped it up. He didn't even bring a jacket. Oh, he did. It's in the car. I'm terrified to imagine what a car ride with the league is like. It's fun, Toga grinned. When we go to the amusement park one day, we can all go. That sounds stressful. She laughed warily. Toga nodded. If you think so, it can just be us. I know how to drive. Well, we can decide then, Uraka suggested. Yeah. Hey, crazy. Hero, come on, losers. Dobby yelled down the alley. I know you're being weird back there. Shut up! Togo shouted back. You're weird for thinking that. Ugh, just come on. Idoraka laughed. We should probably go. They're waiting on you. One little kiss before I go? Togo pouted. Smiling, Idoraka nodded. Sure. Real quick. Togo grabbed her shoulder, leaned up, and kissed her. It lasted longer than real quick. But Uraraka didn't make a move to push her away. In fact, her arms shaking around Toga's waist seemed to send the opposite message. When they finally pulled away, breathing uneven, Uraraka stepped away deeper into the alley. Before Toga could ask, she split to the side of the alley, returning back to where Toga was. Sorry, Uraraka said semi-awkwardly. All I could taste was copper. Copper? Toga tilted her head to the side. Oh, from the blood. It tastes like copper to you? Yeah. Is it different for you? She asked. Yeah, it kind of tastes like fruit. Fruit? Uraka stifled a laugh. Toga seemed to notice. Yes, fruit. It's sweet and it tastes different depending on who it is. All I taste is copper. That's what the League says too. Toga groaned. They don't believe me either. No, no, I believe you, Uraraka said as she started walking towards the others. But that's just a really weird side effect of your quirk. No offense. I don't even know if that's where it's from, Toga exclaimed, following Uraraka. Mm, maybe it's an acquired taste. That's usually when you eat something bad until you get used to it. I don't know if the taste would change from person to person. I'd bet it's because of your quirk. I guess it could be. Toga shrugged. We're back. She called to the league as they approached the end of the alley. Took you long enough. Spinner groaned. They left me and all got into the car. Me, the gecko, and Winter, outside, the warm car. He took off running towards where they parked. Come on, Toga. You too, hero. We're dropping you off on the way. Oh, Uraka said. Guess there'll have to be a goodbye kiss when I leave. She shrugged innocently. Makes sense to me. Toga took her hand, and they began walking. And now you get a taste of the long car rides with us. Oh, that's nice. Toga laughed. Glad you're so excited, Chaco. I really am just kind of not. I felt unsure most of the night. Thanks for sticking around anyways, Toga said quietly. She continued in a moment of serious calmness. It means a lot to me. I'm so happy that you're all getting along. Yeah, it's been nice talking to them. The League isn't as scary as I thought. Plenty of threats, though? She giggled. Yeah, but that's just how we are. They aren't targeting you. Seeing as they were all shovel talks, I'm thinking they were. Honking startled the pair, causing them to look towards the car beside them. An annoyed Dobby was at the wheel, gesturing for them to hurry up already. You're going casual? Really? Ashido asked. She walked a circle around Uraka, silently judging her outfit. Well, maybe not so silently. Yeah, come on, it's not that big of a deal. Uraka 
hoped voicing it would cause her own brain to believe it. Just a meetup, same as always. She pulled a hoodie over her head, a black one with a white skull on the front. If you say so, Ashida replied. She stepped back, took a final look at Adoraka. It does look better with the hoodie. It's jeans and a shirt, Mina. It didn't look terrible before the hoodie either. Yeah, but it looks better now. Ashido gave a thumbs up. Now go get him, tiger. Uraka winced. Really? I gotta give you a big send-off. For luck. Now go on, champ. All right, all right. Bye. See you later. Okay. All right, so I have some small notes for this chapter. Small things. Nothing big. But, um, first of all, I read a- uh, okay, so, again, I'm, like, almost a week ahead now, so, Kingston, I'm sorry, but I'm finally gonna reply. I mean, I'll reply to you in the comments, but, um, that thing about Toga's- Toga's voice sounding completely different from my own. So, me speaking like this is different, um, when I switched into- into Toga's voice. This is Toga's voice. It's very much up here in the nose. Um, it's something that I <laughs> like you mentioned like, oh, be a voice actor. I can be a voice actor. I have different voices. That's one of the voices. You know, up here, you know, it's very airy, very up, very upbeat, very hee <laughs> hee, you know? Um, but obviously I, I can do it for long. I can kind of sing in it too, but it's not the greatest. I'm gonna be honest. It sounds kind of shitty sometimes but um it's something i could do and uh it's it's interesting it's interesting very much so i am really 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 <laughs> um exp no a acknowledge no i am happy that you mentioned the fact that i could be a voice actor it's something that i would always love to do voice acting is such an interesting thing and i would just love to do it because i feel like i would be able to portray that um yeah so that's something. Uh, onto the actual chapter notes, other than just me geeking out with uh, with the with the author. Uh, chapter notes for this one. I mean, it was pretty simple. It was basically like the other one. Um, I have a feeling that this next outing that Uraraka is going to is gonna be the final one where they say like, "Oh, we're together." Stuff. Um, next chapter, which is chapter six, uh, outro. Ooh, back into the um, music theme. Unless. Unless the other one was also music thing. I don't know. I searched it up, but it wasn't like anything. So, uh, I'm gonna read a random, random expert. Random, um. With a laugh, Uraraka did as asked, dropped her chick bag and pack of Pocky into a handheld basket. You want me to carry it? Pocky? God, I wish you could see my face, but I just turned and like looked and smirked. Right? Because Pocky. I did it again. You guys can't see my face. Okay. Just imagine me looking and like having that knowing look. Just, yeah. Yeah. You get the vision. You get the vision. You understand me. You understand me. Okay, hold up. I need to check my email. Have my, have you sent it to me? I need to know, my dude. Because what do you mean you haven't been, I need to know. No, Patreon, shut up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do Patreon anytime soon. But, um, which is the thing. I'm not gonna do Patreon anytime soon. And, uh, remember how I told you the list of, like, uh, I would do the fourth series and the one-shots and the revamp and all that stuff? I might be changing the order of that, but do know that once I'm two weeks ahead, I will start something. So that two weeks ahead, then three weeks ahead, then four things, I will start. And all of those will come. It's just different orders, depending on which one I think would be more plausible to do. Because I'm now thinking that um, doing the fourth series and then doing fan fiction clubs, so switching it from a fan fiction related thing to a fan fiction esque related thing, you know, switching it up like that. With obviously, what's it called, reaction videos being the last one and then the Nothing Podcast being the second to last. Those will not change. But the orders of other stuff will change. The fourth series probably won't change either. I think I'll keep it as once I get two weeks, the fourth series will come in. Um, but the other things might switch around a little bit. Like the one shots, I think I might need a little more time with those. And this is hopefully going to start. I'm going to start posting five videos a day. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Fingers crossed it happens um, by the end of this year. By December, by the beginning of December, having already have that schedule and being 
well, according to my notes, I want to be at least two months ahead of all my schedule, which again, two months ahead is immense. I could take a week break in that and, and, and be okay. I'm never going to take a week break unless I'm sick or something, but that is immense. Being two months ahead allows me to take a week break. It allows me to take a month break and still be good with videos. Obviously, I'm never going to do a month break. That is a little too much because it'll be like a lot of catching up to do. But um, I think the most longest break I'm probably ever going to allow myself to take is two weeks. Um, unless summertime comes around and I want to go somewhere. But in, in instances like that where it's longer than that, what I might do is I might um, end up having periods where, uh, let's say, for example, I want to take a two month break for gay reasons. Yeah, gay reasons, right? I would space out the days that I don't post so that you guys still get videos, but it's not every day, it's every other day. So those, uh, so when I come back from the two month thingy, I still have technically two months of videos worth and it will be like that. So you'll be, you'll have four, uh, four months of just every other day instead of every day. Um, posting and stuff like that uh apart from only the series are gonna be like that uh i don't know i have to think about that i'm never gonna take that long of a break and if i do plan on taking that long of a break i'll probably plan the events ahead so like i'll have that long of a break but i'll also be instead of being two weeks uh, two months ahead when that happens i'll probably be four months ahead when that happens so that i could take those two months and come back with still two months ahead of time right or at least one month ahead of time Right, so stuff like that, where it, it'll never, it'll, I, I most likely will never be uh, where I have two month break. The only instance where I could think where it would be a two month break is when I go over to visit um, my partner. But even then I think, I think I'll take my laptop with me and my mic and I'll record there, <laughs> right? So like in my off time when they're, well, if it would be in summertime, they wouldn't have school. But in our off time, whenever I can, I'll record at least one video a day. Um, at least what? Uh, at least one video's worth a day. So like, if I'm doing five videos, I'll do five videos, that would be... The most that's gonna be is five hours long. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I'm ever gonna have five hours long. I think in those instances, the only ones that would stop production might be the Nothing Podcast and the Fan Fishing Club plus the fanfic cloud. Those would be the ones that would probably stop in production. Same with reaction cloud. So those ones would stop in production. Um, I'd probably also take out the two one shots and just leave the four series and then the revamp, right? Those were probably the only ones that I would keep, right? Going and stuff like that, where I would probably have, yeah, that's probably what would happen and stuff like that. Um, but again, all of this depends on futuristic stuff, not futuristic stuff. All of this depends on future stuff. Um, sorry, I'm ranting. I always rant in these, <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, this was a longer video because I don't know why. Uh, it's not even the notes. The video I think is, uh, no, not the video. The, the fan fiction was 15 minutes long. Um, so yeah, 15 minutes and 30 seconds long. So, well, 31 if you want to be fucking precise. But, no, yeah. That one was longer. I I mean, it would be weird to cut it off at 6 minutes and 6 minutes. So, it makes sense. It would be 6 minutes and 6 minutes. The half of 15 would be 6.5, right? Let me check. I'm just checking. Plus, it would be a weird cutoff considering that one I would have to find a weird cutoff. 7.5, still. It would be a really weird cutoff, right? Um, So, I just decided to do it together. Uh, I could have done it better if um, I would have known beforehand that it was going to be a weird cutoff, but oh well. Anyways, as always, my range offs, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Links to the Discord server and socials are down in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content, and thank you so much for watching.